Hi everyone, this lecture is called The Needle in the Haystack. It's an approach to identifying the acute or critical patient during a medical screening exam. Basically, we want to rapidly separate patients that may have true emergent pathology compared to those that can stay in the waiting room or be evaluated in a non-emergency room setting. In particular, we want to separate out the subtly sick compared to the walking well. A medical screening exam usually takes less than a minute and can be accomplished with a very quick history, focused physical exam, and an ultra-quick chart review, which includes review of the triage note, vital signs, medical history, and medications. This is just one approach, though, and it can be adapted to your practice as you see fit. Step 1. Evaluate how the patient looks. Ask yourself, does this patient look sick or not sick? This may be something concrete, like the patient is diaphoretic, pale, dyspneic, or obtunded, or maybe something subtle or even just the feeling that the patient doesn't look right. Use your clinical judgment and instincts on this one. If the patient falls into the sick category, they should be evaluated in the emergency department. If not, move on to step two. Step two, vital signs. Again, this may be obvious if the patient is hypotensive or significantly tachycardic, bradycardic, or hypoxic. On the other hand, subtle tachycardia or tachypnea may be because of an acute pathology. A fever may also cause these vital sign abnormalities. Consider checking a core temperature in these situations or have a lower threshold for emergency room evaluation. The respiratory rate is a particularly subtle sign of an acute illness. Even mild elevations may be concerning. The triage vital signs may not be correct, so evaluate for tachypnea and work of breathing yourself. If the patient has concerning vital signs, they should be evaluated in the emergency room. If not, move on to step three. Step three, wild cards. Ask yourself, does this patient have any specific risk factors for hidden illness? Elderly patients, maybe those over 75, can hide subtle pathology, as can patients that are immunosuppressed, such as those with AIDS, on immunosuppressant medications, or with ongoing chemotherapy. Also consider complex surgical histories such as transplant patients or those that are recovering from a recent surgery. For example, a fever in an elderly or immunocompromised individual typically requires at least an emergency department workup and possible admission. If the patient doesn't meet any of these criteria in step one through three, they're probably stable to await further care in the waiting room or in the enhanced screening tent.